everyone, it's your girl Linda, but you can also call me by my weeb name, Sakanahime. Today we will be decorating my Nintendo Switch light. Why a light, you ask? Because I cannot find a regular Switch because all the nasties in the world have come together to price gouge the shit out of these babies on the internet. To the point where I think the only way I'd be able to afford one would be to sell my organs or put a second mortgage on my imaginary house. Also, I need to add that I am that broke postgrad, so this is my current tripod setup. My mom couldn't turn away a good deal on those good, good Corona beers, despite the fact that because we're Asian, we can't really drink alcohol. So if you see the logo on my Switch screen, do not fear. You are not hallucinating and your tinfoil hat is indeed working. Here is my Switch light. I like to imagine that when the designers sat down, they said, let's pick the tackiest synthetic blue color we can find. And they weren't messing around. So today, let's slap a good old skin on this baby. I got this mint colored one off of Etsy. Overall, I thought the quality was really amazing. It was really easy to apply. I would, however, recommend that you start from the bottom and slowly smooth out the sticker. I made the mistake of going from right to left and the holes did not match up correctly at all. It's fine, everything's fine, you know. I just die inside a little every single time I look at this. This is what the Switch looked like with entire skin on. I think it's super cute, and if you ignore my shitty ass sticker job, it looks pretty seamless. Moving on to stickers, I have a variety of styles here because just like my last video, I am still that indecisive bitch who doesn't know who they are anymore. Here we have a Japanese dessert set, soccer flowers, a wildflower pack that everyone seems to have when they decorate their Switch, and my favorite, some fruit stickers. Because are you really playing Animal Crossing if you aren't hoarding over 500 peaches to sell on your friend's island? For the front, I didn't want to overcrowd the screen because, you know, we need to be able to see clearly on how many bells we owe that capitalistic son of a bit. I mean, our sweet boy, Tom Nook. Now onto the back. Originally, I wanted to do a hanami scene, so there would be these beautiful cascading sakura flowers on top, and as you look down, you see the different types of desserts and fruits you eat while sitting at a park in Tokyo. But after considering the fact that my stupid ass spent over $30 on four sheets of stickers, I decided to screw that plan and randomly apply them. We are all about that chaotic energy this year, baby, because it's 2020, and what more do we have to lose? I alternated between each of the sheets and did my best to not pair two of the same sets together so it would look somewhat even. And we are done! For the final touch, I'm writing my name in Japanese, so it's Ri Unda. Alright, congrats on passing Japanese 1, Linda. You still got it. Five years later and two useless degrees, girl. Mm. Overall, I'm super happy with how this looks. I think my Switch matches my personality really well, so you know, chaotic and full of weird kawaii ass shit. Maybe, just maybe, when I see my Switch from now on, I'll be motivated to finally turn my dumpster fire of an island into a beautiful 5 star island. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you like, exit out and never come back if you hate me. Stay safe out there and until next time, bye bye.